Thank you, Colonel Elkett. You've raised us a little bit. Uh, and congratulations, everybody, on your perseverance this <laughs> afternoon. Now to the ceremony itself. In a moment, the Earl and Countess of Eglinton will be led across the field by their piper, together with their children, Lord Montgomery, Lady Helena Montgomery, and Lady Beatrice Montgomery. With them, you will also see members of Clan Montgomery, one carrying the chief's banner. After that, I shall read certain proclamations establishing Lord Eglinton's right to succeed his father to the titles of Earl of Eglinton and Winton, and a warrant from the Lord Lion King of Arms to the Earl, recognizing his right to the standard, that is, the six yards long flag, which you will see raised. <laughs> After the standard has been raised, the symbolic moment when the Earl becomes Chief of Clan Montgomery, the Clan Society President will swear an oath of loyalty to the Chief, and Lord Eglinton will make his own, uh, will talk about his own solemn responsibilities to the Clan as their Chief. At that point, I shall return the microphone to Rex for the conclusion of the opening ceremonies. Piper, you may now begin. coming across, I will begin reading the first proclamation. This is an extract from the humble petition of Hugh Archibald William Montgomery to the Right Honourable the Lord Spiritual and Temporal in Parliament Assembled, that is to the House of Lords, claiming to have succeeded to the Earldom of Edmonton in the Peerage of Scotland and to the Earldom of Winton in the peerage of the United Kingdom. Show it that your petitioner's ancestor, Hugh Montgomery, was by letters patent or otherwise between the dates the 3rd and the 20th day of January 1506, created as then styled Earl of Edmonton, now known as Earl of Edmonton in the peerage of Scotland. Two, that your petitioner's ancestor, Archibald William, Earl of Edmonton, Knight of the Thistle, was by letters patent bearing date the 23rd day of June, 1860, created Earl of Winton in the peerage of the United Kingdom. Three, that the said earldoms of Edmonton and Winton have descended together since the creation of the Earldom of Winton in 1860. And finally, that upon the death of the petitioner's father on the 14th day of June 2018, the petitioner, as heir apparent, Archibald George, Earl of Eglinton and Winton, succeeded to the Earldom of Eglinton in the Peerage of Scotland and the Earldom of Winton in the peerage of the United Kingdom. I will now read the certificate of entry on the official roll of the peerage pursuant to royal warrant. I certify that the name of Hugh Archibald William Montgomery has been entered on the roll of the peerage upon his succession to the Earldom of Eglinton in the peerage of Scotland and to the Earldom of Winton in the Peerage of the United Kingdom, as Hugh Archibald William, 19th Earl of Eglinton and 7th Earl of Winton, in the style Hugh Archibald William, Earl of Eglinton and Winton, in accordance with the terms of the Royal Warrant dated the 1st of June 2004, with effect from 14th of June 2018. 
And finally, I will read the warrant for letters patent from the Lord Lion King of Arms in the petition of Hugh Archibald William Montgomery, Earl of Edmonton and Winton, dated Edinburgh, 24th of June, 2019. The Lord Lion King of Arms, having considered the foregoing petition, authorizes the land clerk to prepare letters patent granting unto the petitioner and his successors in his arms the following standard. This, for standard six yards long, split and rounded at the end, with these arms in the hoist, quarterly, first and fourth, azure, three fleur-de-lis, four, second and third, jewels, three amulets, or stoned azure, all within a bordia, or charged with a double pressure, flory counter flory jewels, being the first grand quarter of his lordship's grand coat. And of two tracts, azure and ore, upon which is depicted in the first and third compartments on a wreath of the liveries, a lady dressed in ancient apparel, azure, holding in her dexter hand an anchor, and in her sinister, the head of a savage, coot, suspended by the hair all proper. In the center compartment, a ducal coronet, or issuing therefrom a wyvern vomiting fire, his wings elevated proper, with the motto, Guard bien, in letters or upon two transverse bands sable and grants warrant to the Lion Clerk to matriculate the same in the public register of all arms and bearings in Scotland. Signed, Joseph John Morrow, Lion. You may now raise the standard. The President of the Clan Montgomery Society International will now come forward to swear his oath of loyalty. Check, check, check. I, Leonard Montgomery, President of the Land Montgomery Society International, as a representative of all Montgomery clansmen present and around the world, pledge our loyalty to you. Archibald William Montgomery, the Right Honorable Earl of Eglinton and Winton, Carte B.M. Lord Eglinton will now make his remarks. Thank you all. I would like to thank Norman Livermore and his board of directors for laying on such authentic Scottish weather. 
As a wise man once said, there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. Aye. Seriously though, I would like to thank the Board of Directors for allowing Callum Montgomery the time and the opportunity to perform this ceremony today. I must also thank our guest of honour for relinquishing some of his time in the spotlight during his opening ceremonies. Also, I would like to thank the Mayor of the City of Stone Mountain, Mayor Patricia Wheeler, for including me in her proclamation about this year's Games. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Viscount Dun Russell, for commentating through the ceremony and reading the warrants. Should you be considering a career change, I think the NHL are looking for commentators. Hmm. To the Clan Montgomery, I would like to say thank you for showing me the same loyalty as you showed my father. I can only hope that I prove as worthy of that loyalty as he was. To clansmen and women of other clans, if you come in peace, you'll always find a welcome with Clan Montgomery and maybe a wee dram. If you don't come in peace, you'll still find a welcome. You had better bring the box. <laughs> Thank you all for wonderful weather in this ceremony. I hope it didn't dampen your spirits too much. I hope you all agree with me that Stone Mountain Highland Games provide the perfect location to celebrate this milestone. Thank you. Congratulations.